When you create functions with Veluxo to view your data, you may find it necessary to use arguments that include wildcards or ranges. Let's take a look at how using a range can help you find the data you're looking for. I'm going to add another row here above my first account and copy this row so I can still have the account ending balance function in cell F8. For this example, I want to see the ending balance for the June 2023 period for all the accounts from 10100 to 10500. To do this, just add a colon in between the two accounts. Once I press enter, you will see the balance update here in cell F8. If we highlight these cells, at the bottom of the screen we can verify the sum of these accounts showing us that the range is working properly. However, you will see an error message here in cell B8 because the account name function is trying to find an account with this number, which doesn't exist. I can just delete what is in cell B8 to remove the error message. If instead of using a range you wish to create a list, you can do so by adding the values to the cell with semicolons in between. For instance, I can show the balance for only accounts 10100, 2500, and 10700 by adding those account codes to the cell. Sometimes you may wish to have a range, but omit one or two items from that range. For instance, let's say I want to view the balances for a range of accounts from 10100 through 13200, but I wanted to exclude 10600 and 10700. This is where the subtractor operator is helpful because it allows you to exclude certain values in a range. All we need to do to exclude these accounts is to type in a semicolon and a minus sign before each account. Once I hit enter, you can see the ending balance update. The subtractor operator can be used with the account, subaccount, or branch arguments to exclude certain values from a range in the account total debits, account total credits, account turnover, account beginning balance, and account ending balance functions, as well as the account group, cost code, project, inventory item, and branch arguments in many of the project module functions. Another common feature is the wildcard operator, which allows you to add all entities that match a certain pattern. For instance, let's say I want to see the account ending balance for all accounts that start with a one. All I need to do is type in a single one and then use question marks for the rest of the account code. This tells Veluxo to add all accounts that start with a one because the question marks denote any character. Keep in mind that the question marks can be anywhere, so I can do something like this to return different results. To learn more about Excel's native operators, go to help.velixo.com to find a knowledge base of information that will help you build your next Velixo enhanced workbook.